Hello, Liba. Li <laughs> I was going to do a really smooth um, Hallo, Liba Leute for all the Germans out there, but I failed. Hallo, Liba Leute. Wie geht's? Um, how's everybody doing? It's Wednesday. It's three o'clock where I am. What time is it where you are? Tell me. I'm going to play a song called Tendrils to begin with. This is for me dad. Say hello and let me know where you're watching from. tendrils for dad and for anybody else watching how long have i been practicing guitar many years i'm losing i am losing touch with how many years because it's gone on for so long i was 13 i think 12 or 13 so 27 years not to give my age away or anything <laughs> How's everybody doing? Um, if somebody's watching on Facebook, can you say hello? I've been having problems with the feed on, on there for some reason recently. So uh, let me know if it's actually working. Um, so we've got a special guest coming up in a little bit. I'm going to play one more song and then bring him in all the way from the Yukon. I've never been to the Yukon before. So the fact that I've been on a computer in Zoom in the Yukon is quite exciting. Um, I'm going to play a, a song called Folds. If you like the video, if you like the music, please um, hit the share button, spread it around, and you will be rewarded in this life and in the next life, just for that one action. Karmic points. Uh, this is Folds. Thank you, 
Joseph. folds so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna bring in a little special guest now um as i was mentioning before it's uh all the way from from yukon which is as far away as you can get in this country pretty much i mean we'll we'll get into that i guess we'll find out if that's really true but i want to welcome mr rob dixon rob how's it going good good thanks tim Welcome. Those were beautiful songs. Thank you. Beamed to Yukon for the first time, maybe. Well, yeah, I think so. Well, <laughs> apart from probably on the radio or, you know, and and everybody's devices. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> In other ways. Well, this is the first time like my <laughs> face is going directly into Yukon through the power of Zoom. Yes. Yeah. I believe <laughs> that's true. Unless someone's got a drone and they've been spying on you or something. Who knows? These days, <laughs> everything is possible. Um, it is so nice to have you on here. Um, I 
yeah it's my pleasure i for the, for folks back home for folks who don't know um rob is an amazing songwriter i mean you're gonna find out because you're gonna hear his music but um i well i we've been in contact for a little while but it was really this year a few months back where i like properly gave your last record a listen and it just became a regular i was just like i was like hearing the songs in my head all the time and just like yeah during a time that things were like pretty tough like going out for walks and like putting the music on and it just making me like like actually like smile because it was making me feel so good so thank you for uh for rescuing well, me a little bit these uh that's <laughs> these weird times well that's huge uh compliment coming from you so appreciate that it's, I, it's true man it's true I'm so glad we did connect and, and we're able to make this happen um and i, I i've had uh similarly like fully discovered your your work a little bit later like um as i think i started listening to parallel line like before just before christmas a lot um and i just i hadn't properly given given it uh enough of a listen before that i've seen i heard a few singles and it was actually on like after dark the cbc Mm -hmm. program where i heard one song um in record i can't remember if it was i think it was um shapes um and uh that was like oh that's a really good song oh my god (laughs) and then i dove i got the record and and started uh listening with elena and my my wife and in the house this winter is really really cool so beautiful yeah mutual appreciation society on wednesday <laughs> on youtube and yes yeah um it's how are things how are things going up there how are you how are you doing have you been playing making music the last the last little bit yeah yeah i've been been doing mostly um working on a, a record um haven't really been playing much live or with an audience or even even virtually at mm-hmm. all I think I did one live stream show in the in the summer of 2020, and um, but I've been working on a record pretty pretty steadily th- since about a year ago, and it's pretty much done now. So it's it's just being mixed. Amazing. Um, essentially, so yeah. So I did a lot of writing, um, and uh, sort of a lot of demoing songs and that kind of stuff, which was a nice outlet beautiful well do you want to do you want to start us off do you want to give us a give us a little song yeah or a big song any size song (laughs) you feel like yeah this one's this one's from actually the collection that i wrote um in 2020 and uh so it's not really out yet but um it's one that i really like and it's called there's a door um like this. body hides the signs of you The way it ducks away entirely Slides right through tired of fists and open palm Smoked them in the songs And I don't know where the song belongs In the water there's this truth from her everybody came and that's where we all end up to so every dawn of every year you swim out past the pier until you can just barely hear turn the blinds up and tell myself that I can see too but I The 
broken circles in your heart Linking together as you sit there writing in the dark Pictures from the bedside drawer thrown across the floor But in the darkness there's a door You get your own applause here. It's thank just like you, a real show. You. And it fades out just like <laughs> real real life, right? When people like clap like slightly less and less quietly. Is that how it works? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. Sure. That was so beautiful. <laughs> oh, what was what was the name of that that track again? It's called There's a Door. There's a Door. And you and you were saying just uh just before we went live that you're in a bit of a funky tuning for that one. Can you, can you talk yeah. us through your tuning there? I'm always intrigued by these things. Yeah. So, uh, I haven't, this whole guitar is tuned down a, a full step. So it's like, um, starts there, but I have the capo on the second fret, which kind of seems like stupid, but <laughs> I find I, <laughs> it makes it easier to play. Right. Cause the strings are like looser. They're like looser. Yeah. And they have a different, uh, texture or something. Uh, so tightness <laughs> so yeah but the tuning is essentially like um, there's like the open D tuning like dad gad but mm -hmm. instead of the D um, it's uh, actually a G mm -hmm. no an F sorry so it's like a step and a half up okay. so it makes it so you can play an F chord um, like this and then it just rings nicely gorgeous and the A and the the A and the F just do their thing. How does it sound if you just if you play the open strings? It's like totally open. It's dark. That's pretty. It's dark, but magic. It's like dark magic. I and I play that chord in the song too, which is, it helps because yeah. I don't have to do anything there. It's kind of magic. So cool. I, it's so, a fun one. I, I I stumbled upon it. I guess I was actually at first I was playing it where um, yeah, uh, never mind. I don't know, <laughs> nerding. We can nerd. This is a, a space for nerd. We've had uh, I think we had like a like a twenty minute long harp tour a few a few months back. Sarah Page, cool. this harpist, kind of like took us all around the instrument and showed us how the whole thing works. And and it kind of made me think that like wow. a guitar is essentially a harp with a board against it where you can kind of change the length of your strings like the harp is kind of like you put a harp you put a harp on its side and put some hammers on it and you've got a piano you put a harp on your lap and put a piece of wood behind it and you've got a guitar it's all like it's all harp yeah. based music i guess yeah yeah anyway <laughs> i think so it's cool the harp is such a such a thing that like i don't think i've ever touched a harp but i've seen a lot of harps so, but <laughs> Just lying stages, around. Yeah, music rooms or back rooms <laughs> or stages, but not not in. Uh, yeah, not been able to touch or play them. One day, we can we can all dream. Um. So you said that that one is recorded and it's like it's ready to go for the next the next record. Yeah, yeah. It's got a. I've I've gotten uh, the first round of mixes uh, for the, like half the record in that one. I just listened to yesterday. And oh my god, that's so exciting. So. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, but but no no definite plan yet for like when or how it's gonna be released. No, not yet. Um, I have to figure that out a little bit. I think I would like I would like to start sharing music in the fall, like mm -hmm. at least. Uh, but it might be just sort of a single or something like that. And um, yeah. Cool. Well, Hoping there's to sort of build on it, build on what's been done on my previous records, and uh, in terms of getting it into people's ear holes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how to do that, but I. We're do you're doing it right now. It's happening. Yeah. You're putting it in people's yeah. ear holes. Um, yeah. And f I guess like if people if people like what they're hearing, there is a link in the video description for Rob's Bandcamp, so you can you can go over there. And with that, I think if you ever you can sign up to mailing lists through through the Bandcamp thing. So and and I think you you'll just automatically be notified whenever Rob puts anything out new. So you should go over there and do that, obviously. And for the new viewers here, and for the regular viewers as well, 
um, there is a donation option in the video description where you can donate by PayPal or Interact or credit card. And 50% of the donations go to the guest artists each week. And your contributions are much appreciated. So thanks in advance. Um, after that spiel, do you want to give us a, another one? Al although I guess we were, yeah. we were talking before this about like the art of tuning and talking, which is like yeah, a, we were. <laughs> a, very, a very tricky thing. Because um, now that you're in that funky tuning, you got to get out of it. I do. Dug yeah, your own so grave, either so I was, to speak. I was reaching down there to mute myself <laughs> and talking for a minute because I was trying to be proactive. Nearly, nearly like slipped in there and got a free, a free not, not awkward tuning moment. Yeah, I almost did. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so if, it's, this, if, it, if you're in... I have to tune up a couple of strings. Yeah. You've got to tune up the, D, the low D string to an E. And yeah. then the A to a B, and the F down to an E. Is that right? That's right. Yes. Except it's all a step down anyway, so that's not totally true. Anyway, what's the what's the name of the song you're gonna play for us next? Um, yeah, I'm gonna play a song called "The Fallen Furs," and it's um, from my uh, last full record, full length record, and um, it's. It was actually written sort of at the tail end of the songs that I wrote for the previous album, Proof of Our Years. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's a song about um, trying to consider the fact that we have numbered days sometimes and the way we talk, we deal with people who are difficult in our lives. <laughs> And uh, trying to build sort of a positive attitude into how uh, to conduct yourself in those relationships that are harder. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's always a lot of there. A lot of my songs have talk about dreams, and this one has a a dream in it. Um. Let's see if that sounds okay. Almost. This is what I was talking about with the tuning thing. I always take a little bit longer than most. I feel like someone could make a lot of money if they did like a course online, at like how to tune quickly or like little tuning tricks that you can do yeah. like all of this stuff oh for sure you could make a a lot of cents and dollars probably <laughs> millions there okay on first something a little bit off there. Gonna cry. 
So oh, beautiful. I love that song. That's on the last record, Thanks. everybody. There's a link in the video description to Rob's Bandcamp. Um, and you can just look it up as well. If you like Rob Dixon Bandcamp, it will appear magically. Um, yeah, I love that song. It's it's fantastic. Oh, um, and Robert, Robert Dixon says, hey, Rob, sounding fantastic. I'm guessing that's not you, that you didn't like type a message to yourself. No, actually, out of your it's brain. definitely not me. <laughs> That's my father. <laughs> Hi, Rob's dad. Hey, dad. Because <laughs> we, we were doing a little uh, a little sound check yesterday, and we were kind of going through some of the audio settings, and Rob was sitting there, and he was, like, checking things. And, and like, I was asking, like, well, is that is that menu open, and is that thing over there? And he's like, yeah, and blah, blah, blah. But he was just sitting there. Like with his hands on his knees and I couldn't figure it out. And then he like, he left the meeting, but it was like, he had, the, he had the mouse on his leg, um, figuring stuff out. And it was, but I was just like, is he controlling this by the power of his mind? It was very, very impressive. <laughs> uh, I've got a doppelganger that can just be like a internet, uh, hype man. <laughs> like, your internet hype man. He's controlling your zoom sound settings, all of the yeah. things. I love it. Yeah, um, full time. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do one more from Rob, and then I'm gonna kind of keep it going and and keep some keep some music happening for the rest of the hour at least. Um, thanks everyone for for tuning in and for the messages and for the yellow hands and claps and things. Um, and yeah, maybe yeah. Do you want to do one last one? We'll have a little yeah. chat and and say goodbye. Yeah, sure. Beautiful. Sounds good. Um. So, I mean, it depends on how much time we have. I've got sort of two I could do. There's one that's um, a little bit shorter, finger-picking one. Sure. And then I've, I've got one that's uh, longer as well. Yeah, yeah, but, just uh, if you, um, as, as, you, as you like, whichever one you're, you're feeling. Maybe because the other two were very finger-picky, I'll just play one that's um, a little bit different. Well, actually, are they, are they both from the last record? Yeah. Because then maybe I can choose my favorite one. Oh sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> what are what sure. are the what are the options? Yeah, um, I was gonna yes. do either smoke ring mm -hmm. or um, new one. 
Okay. I do like a shortened version of Smoking because it's like a seven minute song in, on the record. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have like strings and drummer and yeah. <laughs> all of the. Well, you know what? You, you. Guitar solos. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Okay. I'm going to do Smoke Ring <laughs> just because I, I like playing it. And I try and sing like. Um, uh, Robert Pollard a little bit in this <laughs> and because I, I just embellished the Robert Pollard of my in my my soul <laughs> that's I mean that's a those are useful life words for everyone embellish the Robert Pollard in your soul <laughs> yeah yeah I think so it's cool go smoke ring
Beautiful. Smoke ring. Thanks a lot. Yeah. It's Rub Dixon. That's a fun one. I yeah. get to rock out on that one a little bit. I don't usually get to do that, so. Yeah. Um, and I imagine you're missing the opportunity as well to, like, play with the band and, like, really lose it with that one. I mean, because I, I recognize that one yeah. from, from the record, and it does get, like, really wild, but it's, like, yeah, the kind of thing that, like, you just want to hear that live when you're getting, like, completely blasted by the, the PA. <laughs> Oh, if totally, one day, yeah. one day. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much, Rob. Um, I feel like we should, for the, for the folks over in Europe particularly, we should give them a little bit of context of like where you are in the world because it still blows my mind like how, how remote some parts of Canada are. And I mean, I guess you're not even like the most remote, but like, so you're in, in Whitehorse, right? Yeah. In, yeah, I'm in Whitehorse. So that's, that's the capital city. <laughs> of Yukon. Yukon, yeah. Yukon or like, the Yukon? I always want to say the Yukon, but you can do either. But I think oh. the the current government is saying don't use the get the the get the the out of here. Okay, they, Yukon. They've got rid of the, <laughs> but I still say it, the Yukon. But yeah, I mean, ge- geographically, it's like um, north east of the like sort of. Uh, um, Alaska Panhandle. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. To most the people, little, the thin bit coming down the side of Alaska that's like along the coast of, of yeah, like what would be Canada, I guess. But yeah, yeah, in, in a little bit. Alaska is basically preventing us from having access to the ocean. Yeah, for, um, to go for a nice swim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the middle of winter. Um, but then you're but but like if you were kind of how how do you get there from like Vancouver? Is that kind of like the main like the a, main access yeah, point that you'd go? Yeah, from? Vancouver is like the main sort of exit airport. Um, mm-hmm. You can also fly direct to to Calgary and Edmonton. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, if you're going to drive to Whitehorse, like how how if long? you're going to drive, it's like two full days from Calgary, <laughs> or from Vancouver, it's probably two and a half days, but like twelve hour days of driving, just like it's straight pretty up, far. pretty much. <laughs> It's probably like the distance from one end of Europe to the other. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but there, like, I think like six Irelands can fit in Yukon or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's like for scale, um, it's huge, but it's it's vast and unpopulated mm-hmm. uh, territory. So there's like thirty thousand people here in Whitehorse, mm-hmm. and then um, very few people. Or out in the communities, but um, there's a number of communities that are spread out through the Yukon. Well, I, I hope I can get up there one day. It's like one part of Canada I've never been to, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk when when travel is on again. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah, we'll make, make it happen, happen for sure. We'll make a nice theater show or something. Yeah. So yeah, just I, I guess everybody once again, if you can give Rob some some yellow clapping hands that would be lovely or anything you want and once again there's a donation link in the video description if you're on twitch there's like a donation button in the about section um and thanks to everyone already who's contributed who contributes every week it means a lot um and yeah and you can check rob's music out in the link in the description as well or just like look up rob dixon Bandcamp. but yeah for now we're gonna say say goodbye to rob thanks again so much rob thanks tim thanks for having me take care so much fun bye bye see you everyone that's rob dixon everyone isn't that amazing his his last album is so is so beautiful and um i mean you heard it kind of like the acoustic part of it there's also like a kind of rock band vibe to quite a bit of it as well and um, to follow up from a question that was asked a little bit earlier from uh annie slow or annie slow um yes we take requests so um throw them out i i've got to figure a way to get the list up on on twitch but for those people watching on youtube or uh, facebook there is a link to a spotify playlist which is all of the songs that i've played as requests in the past if you need some ideas um and i've got a i've got a request coming up pretty soon but i'm gonna play i'm gonna play one of my own first on friday i have a a new ep coming out it's called la mitad and it's some Spanish translations of songs from my last record. And I'm going to do a couple of special 
release shows, ticketed release shows on Saturday. One at 3 p.m. EST, one at 10 p.m. EST. So there's actually a chance for people living in the later part of the world, the western part of the world. I guess they're earlier. They're earlier than us um, to, to watch. And there's going to be some collaborations. I've got some, some video collages that I've put together with musicians from all over the world. Um, some of which you will have seen if you've watched these shows regularly, but there's a ticket link in the video description if you want to come to that. Um, it's $10, 10 Canadian dollars, but if anybody really wants to come and is a little short on funds, just give me a message and I'll sort you out. But I'm going to play one from that. I'm going to play um, Todo, Todo Sabemos, which is all we know. As in, that's the name of the song. It's not everything that we know. Sabemos from the new record. Interesting subtitles. Was it trying to to translate it into English? Kind of intrigued. I 
I'm gonna play a couple of requests um, after this one. I'm gonna play Grace next, the English version. There is a Spanish version on the record. And then I have like two, maybe three requests, but there's probably time for more. So if there's something you really wanna hear, get it in the list, whether it's by me or anybody else. This is, uh, this is Grace. <laughs> Still we tell ourselves that nothing ever changed so much I see it all The grace that you hold You send me out in the cold Old tool as much as you'd ever own Is it enough? As infinite as sin Don't ever cast a stone before you All of us are fickle and on more you're not all the things you're not could there be anything that you would rather hear about um, acceptance and forgiveness and basically not being a dick when when things go wrong I'm gonna play a request um my sister requested that I play time after time she's requested it a few times um and I keep putting it off, so I'm gonna do it for her. In the key of A major. Interesting thing about time, um, even pre the days of autocorrect, people would sometimes write my name time when they're writing to me by accident. Um, and I've done it a few times. <laughs> I have recently typed time when I was trying to write my own name. So uh, let's requisten, requisten, let's requisten this, Tim after Tim. Here you go, Anna. Caught up in 
else left behind A suitcase of memories Time after sometimes you picture me I'm walking too far and You're calling to me Can't hear what you say Then you say you go slow I fall behind the second hand on wines. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, if you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting. Time after time. My picture fades and darkness is turned to grey Watching through windows, wondering if I'm okay Secrets stolen from deep inside The drum beats out of time If you're lost, you can look, you will find me Thank you, Rob, for the claps and heart. I'm guessing that's the uh, the Rob Dixon the Younger. Um, if anybody has any questions for Rob Dixon the Younger or Rob Dixon the Elder, um, stick them in the chat there. I'm going to go into the key of Dad for Shad. I'm gonna play one of my own and then an Adrian Lenker song that I played a few weeks ago because it was the, one of the most challenging things that I've learned in a while and really fun. So that's gonna come up next, but I'm gonna play um, a new song that's been in the Bandcamp subscription for the subscribers who've heard this one. It's called Sinners and it's about just trying to make a bit of an effort. Come on, just pull your finger out.
they suffer in the joy we bait in the sweetness right down to the core. That was me. This is Adrian Lenker. Thank you, NDP and Gelly. This is for Anna Horvath if she's watching. Staring down the barrel of the sun. Shining with the sheen of a shotgun Carol has a little if we need some Joy has a right if we wanna come Hanging in jeans with a clothespin Skin still wet, still on my skin Mango in your mouth, juice dripping Corner of your shirt, sleeve slipping Christmas Eve with your mother and sis Don't wanna fight, but your mother insists Dogs white teeth bite right through my fist Drive me to ER and they put me on risk Grocery store this now you get pissed Unchecked calls and messages I don't wanna be the owner of your fantasy I just wanna be a part of your family And I don't wanna talk about anything I don't wanna talk about anything I wanna kiss, kiss your eyes again I wanna witness your eyes looking I don't wanna talk about anyone I don't wanna talk about anyone I wanna sleep in your car while you're driving I in your lap while I'm crying Circle of pine and red oak Circle of moss and fire smoke Fine on the ceiling like a wheel spoke Push the clutch and I pull the joke I wanna listen to the sound of you making Listen to your hands Listen to your heart beating Listen to the way you move I don't wanna talk about anything I don't wanna talk about anything Kiss your eyes again I wanna witness your eyes looking I don't wanna talk about anyone I don't wanna talk about anyone I wanna sleep in your car when you're driving Lie in your lap while I'm crying Adrian Lenker song, Anything. Everyone should go and listen to it if they don't already know it because it's magical. Um, thank you for all the kind words, everybody. Uh, and to see all these new faces on Twitch. Hello, Twitch people. Please keep following in it. Um, I've drunk almost all my tea from my ugly mug. Um... I have some notes. I've been trying to write notes to like remember things so I'm not just like scrambling on the day. Um, 
once more, there's a donation link. It supports me. It supports Rob Dixon. They get 50%. The guest gets 50% every every time. So please support generously or not generously. I mean, any any amount is generous, frankly, because you don't have to do it. And just putting your eyes and your ears on this thing every week is really magic. And I do it every week. So for those who don't already know, come back same time, same place. I'm going to play one more. I think I had a request from uh, from Abby last night at like 10 o'clock. He's like, can you play this song? And I looked it up and it turned out I could. Um, and it's a Nick Drake song, which I think Nick Drake is heading to be like the most performed person on this after me. It's mostly my songs, I guess. And it's in another funky tuning. It's in C. So we've got to take that down a tone. Because we're in dad for shat right now. So D down to C. That is going to go down a tone to G as well. And then that D is going to go down to a C as well. And this, which was a G and as now is an F sharp, it's going to go down a semitone to an F. I'm not really sure what that one's going to sound like. And this A's got to go up to a C. So that's three C's in this song. And then the D's going to go up to an E. Sounds pretty nice. C, G, C, F, C, E, Nick Drake. This is a new one from me. This is um, Pink Moon. And it was requested because there was a Pink Moon this week, apparently. And I didn't really know what that means. I, I saw a few people posting about it. Um, I was like, what the hell is a Pink Moon? And so there's like a moon calendar where the different moons have different names. And of course, there's like, there's like one moon per month, essentially. I mean, moon and month, it's the same. It's from the same word, isn't it? And so the different months, moons have different names. And the April moon is the pink moon, which is a lot nicer sounding than the March moon, which is the worm moon. Um, but then I was looking into it because it's like, well, is that what the song's about? And apparently Nick Drake, I looked into it. It's actually a reference to like a moon during during an eclipse, the kind of pinkish color of a moon in that scenario. Uh, but then the pink moon that's from indigenous cultures. And I think so specifically the Algonquin who are kind of like in Montreal and surrounding, like it's the, this is their territory and it's the pink moon because there's a particular kind of plant called phlox, P-H-L-O-X, maybe two X's. This little pink um, flower that comes up around about this time and is all over the ground, the pink moon. Pink moon for the pink flowers. And this is for Auntie Leslie and Uncle Peter if they're watching as well, because I know they like a bit of Nick Drake. Okay, I'm going to shut up and then sing, which are the same thing, different things. Okay. Pink Moon. And I saw it go Pink moon is on its own Forgot the words Okay, this is it, this is it really I saw it written and I saw it said Pink moon is on its way And on it stands so tall A pink moon gonna get yours Pink moon, hey, pink moon Pink, 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 pink Pink moon
on his way And only you stand so tall A pink moon gonna get you Pink moon, the pink full moon of April. In Anglo-Saxon terminology, it was the egg moon, which is just a funny couple of words next to each other, I think. Oh. I think that's enough. That's enough for today. Um, but yeah, just a reminder, the new EP, the new Spanish EP comes out on Friday. So get on Bandcamp and find that. I mean, it'll be on Spotify and all those sorts of things. But we're going to do special release shows on Saturday at 3 p.m., 3 p.m. EST, which is 8 p.m. in the UK, 9 p.m. in in Central Europe, Saturday for a release show. And then there's one at 10 p.m. EST, which is 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. on the West Coast. And then like early in the morning in Asia and Australia. But I'm going to, the link is in the video description. There's so many links in the video description. It's a gold mine, but I'm going to post it here for the YouTube people as well. But go and get your tickets. Um... It's been a treat. Thanks so much to Rob Dixon. Thanks to everyone who's been donating. And I'll be back same time, same place next week.